I can remember like it was yesterday, my friend Bruce Kent, and he said, let us not let slip the dogs of war, because you won't get them back. And then you look at the legacy of the Iraq war, of the refugee flows all across the region, the disruption in so many other countries, and the ghastly crisis in part created by that in Syria at the present time. And then you look at the numbers of refugees that are all around the world, more displaced people than at any time in human recorded history. A human crisis in North Africa, there's a human crisis of people dying in the Mediterranean, there's a human crisis of people now in Hungary trying to get on a train in order to get to a place of safety. Germany has taken in a very large number of refugees because they believe they should, because they recognize they have an obligation under the 1951 Geneva Convention to take in asylum seekers, as every other country does. So can I suggest very gently and politely to our Prime Minister, can we have less of this language about swarms and insects, and a bit more language about humanism, humanitarianism, recognizing blame culture against some vulnerable and very, very desperate people. There is a plaque up in Folkestone which says with pride, and quite correctly with pride, about the number of refugees that arrived in Folkestone after the end of the Second World War, and made their homes, worked very hard, and have made a fantastic contribution to our society. We have to look to the rest of the world and do our part to solve this humanitarian crisis that's going on at the present time. It's within all of us to make our voices known to try to bring that about. That surely is what brings us together as socialists, what brings us together in our party, what brings us together as a decent human community.